Welcome to the channel. I have oh, I got a really nice surprise. I had one of my viewers, a coffee roaster, sent me some coffee this week. It's from uh, Vino Caffino. I believe they're a little small roaster. Um, owned by Rodney and Donna Tidwell. Don't know much about them, but they sent me three bags of their coffee to try. So I am going to sample them for you today and let you know what I think. I got a uh, a Vino Caffino called their Blonde Bombshell, I believe is what they consider their espresso. It's a blend of, uh, actually I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I know it's a blend of light and dark coffees. Anyway, not sure exactly what the beans are in there. I know it has Rwanda in it. Uh, then they sent me a Sedamo blend, looking forward to this Ethiopian, and then they sent me some uh, French roast dark roast. So, anyway, I'm going to choose one that I really want to do a full deep dive review on. I, you know, I'm an espresso guy, I love espresso, so uh, I'm going to go with the espresso and maybe we'll just do a flash cupping on these afterwards. Anyway, I'm going to get on my roast right, I'm going to analyze them, we're going to do some cupping, we're going to pull some shots, do some cold brew, and I'll let you know what I think of this coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the uh, blonde bombshell right here, but uh, it is a blend. I don't think these are all blends, so it's going to be a little tricky doing a real roast right. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference, but I got three different types of beans here, three different shades. Uh, we have some smaller SHB hard beans. Looks like maybe there's some uh, Robusta in here. And then we have some darker uh, French roast beans. So anyway, we're going to see what we got here. I'm not sure if this is really going to tell us much. But, you know, what it's saying is about a medium roast, 57. Uh, anyway, just wanted to point that out. I'm going to continue on, grind up some, do it, and then we'll be back and we'll start cupping it. Be right back. Okay, got all my samples ready. Got my three samples. I'm going to cup all three of them together at the same time. Got my water. I'm only going to score the Blonde Bombshell Espresso. Give you a score on that. That's my favorite. Anyway, the Blonde Bombshell is a blend of uh, light and dark roast. Three different types of roast blended after they've been roasted. I can tell because they have three different distinct colors. Uh, the other way of roasting would be to roast them all together, all the same color. These are very distinct roasts, all blended afterwards. So sweet, earthy. So rose, rose, uh, rose petal. Very nice aroma on that one. This is going to be the Ethiopian blend. It is a much darker roast. Probably looks like about a full city. So chocolatey, uh, sort of had a whiff of brownies, nice little sweetness to it. This is what they call their French roast, very dark, smoky, not much sweetness there at all. It's been roasted out. Anyway, let's, uh, so I'll move these around a little bit here. So we get a picture of this. Get our water brewing. Let it go 14 minutes. Start our timer. Get going. It has a nice bloom on it. Fresh. The bag did not have a roast on date. These look like they're sample bags, but it does look like they are very freshly roasted. This one is a lot of bloom on the Ethiopian. And the French roast. Oh, very fresh. 
Nice big bloom time. Let's give a sweet. It's still getting like very sweet citrusy rose off the blonde bombshell. Hints of uh, citrus orange. Much more subdued sweetness. It's a much darker roast than the Ethiopian. Sort of sweet, uh, sort of woodsy to me. Sort of has a nice sweet spice of uh, sh not sugar cane, uh, candy cane. The mint has a hint of mint in there. Okay, the uh, French roast. Very dark, smoky hint of sweetness. Much less sweetness than the other ones. Nice, nice smell. Anyway, we're gonna let these go for 14 minutes. I'm gonna come back and cup them for you. We're gonna pull some espresso shots and probably do a cappuccino for you. Anyway, I'll be back shortly. Hey, it's been 14 minutes. My samples are ready. Like I said, when I got the aroma on the break, it's very sort of citrusy, sweet. It has a lot of uh, sort of rose petal aroma to it. Very nice. Uh, this one, the hints of spice, blueberry, plum. Uh, this is typical French rose, dark, bittersweet chocolates, roasted nuts. Anyway, I'm not going to score these two, but I'm going to score this one. Let's start with this one right now. This is the Blonde Bombshell Espresso. Very bold. Very intense uh, acidity. Very thick on the tongue. Not overly sweet. I might would like to have a little more sweetness in the cup, not bad. It has a nice, I think it has a nice robusta. It has a little robusta in it. Nice sparkle on the tongue. I'm going to say this is going to be a nice espresso. This is what they would consider their espresso. Very nice. Not, I'm not getting any really fruitiness. Any, uh, I'd say these are probably all washed coffees. Like I said, I'm not getting any uh, what you call like be a natural processed where you'd have a lot of fruitiness in the coffee. It does make a nice. I can tell it's going to be a nice espresso. It has a nice bite to it. Okay, let's move on to the uh, Ethiopian blend. Plum, blueberry, allspice. What am I? This does have like some sort of washed natural taste to it. It does have some fruitiness to it. Very nice. Uh, about a medium, medium full city. Does have some sweetness to it. I would almost would like to push it to a little bit lighter, keep some of that fruitiness in there. It's still very good, very nice coffee. And let's move on to the French roast. I always like to go from light to dark. You do the same thing in wine. I know I do the same thing with coffee when you're sampling them. This is the French roast, very toasty, you can smell the roast, intense, not much sugar left in it, sort of a bittersweet chocolate, 
It does have a hint of peanut in there, peanut tasting. Very nice French roast. I used to love French roast. I'm not a big French roast lover anymore. But if you like a French roast, this is very good. It has that nice, intense kick to it. Nice slurpy on the tongue. Anyway, I am going to score this espresso in a minute. But let's pull a shot of this blonde bombshell. Very nice, the crema. Sort of a hint of uh, orange on top of citrus. Sort of sweet in the aroma, nice aroma, nice. I don't know, kind of flat, kind of earthy a little bit in the cup. Nice little sweetness. I'd like to have a little more sweetness in the cup. A little more, I don't know, I, I liked it better in the coffee cup than I did the espresso shot here. Let's try it. Let's just check it out in the cappuccino here real quick. Not too much. Makes a nice cappuccino, blends with milk really well. Cuts through the milk. I think I like it better in a milk-based drink than just the pure shot. Yeah, it goes very good in, I'd say, what you, latte, cappuccino, flat white. Blends with the milk well. Cuts through the milk so you get that nice coffee flavor. Anyway, I'm not going to do a cold brew this week, obviously. I'm just sampling all of these. I will be back shortly and give you my final score on this coffee. Be right back. I am back. I have gotten this blonde bombshell scored. Uh, all of the coffee from Cafe Afino, Cafino, excuse me, were really good. Nothing really blew me away, but they're all good. But anyway, let me uh, start talking about this blonde bombshell. Uh, it had a very bright, nice acidity. Uh, it had a nice caffeine kick. I would say probably that's the best part of it was the acidity, that caffeine kick. Anyway, anyway uh, fragrance. So rose, bits of citrus, mild sweetness. I uh, gave it an eight. Uh, flavor. Like I said, it was a bit leaning on the acidic side, lacking a little on the answer. Anyway, I gave it an 8. Still very good coffee. Aftertaste. I liked the aftertaste. It really had a long, slurpy, intense feel on the back of my tongue. From that caffeine, I gave it an 8.5. There again, it stood out on the uh, bright acidity side, so I gave it a 9 on acidity. On sweetness, this is where I was sort of lacking for me. Didn't have a lot of sweetness. Had a mild sweetness. Anyway, I gave it a 7.5. It was a great coffee. Nothing wrong with it. So I had no bitterness at all to the cup. Gave it a 10. I guess I had a nice mouthful. Gave it an 8. Gave it an 8 on balance. Uh, nothing odd, weird about it. So I gave it a 10 on that. On uh, overall drinkability, like I said, it was a nice espresso. I didn't overly care for it for in the by the shot. 
did make a really nice uh, cappuccino, probably be very good in latte blending with milk. I would recommend this espresso. Anyway, I gave her an overall score of 8. My overall score on this coffee was 8.5. And on the uh, Ethiopian blend, it did have some natural in it. It did seem to have, uh, what did I say, blueberry, some fruit berry, fruity sort of spice to it. Uh, bits of plum. You know, it was a nice coffee. There again, kind of a full city. I would kind of say all of these are sort of a second wave sort of uh, type coffee company. Nothing extremely light roasted. You know, this was a nice blend of light roast with some darker beans. But nothing with a lot of exotic, what I'd call, weird flavors that you would expect from a third wave coffee company. Uh, the French roast. Uh, dark Secret, very nice, deep bittersweet chocolate, very nice French roast if that's what you like. Anyway, oh yeah, on the pH on this coffee, it did come with a 5.98, so it is uh, not quite real high on the acidic, but it had a nice break to it. Uh, anyway, that's my review for this week. Hopefully you got some value out of it. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.